Today, I decided to take on a challenge. I'll create a faceless AI automated YouTube channel in just one hour. And I'll take you with me throughout the whole process. So after watching this video, you can very easily do this yourself too. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Okay, so to keep things organized and as efficient as possible, I created these mini documents that will take us step by step. And the first step is content brainstorming. Second one is challenge setup. Third one is content creation. And fourth is video uploading and optimization. So let's see if it's possible to do everything here in just one hour. And I'll be completely honest with you guys. And I'll actually show you at the end how much time it took me. So let's get started. So let's begin with the first step. And that's going to be content brainstorming. So we have two things here. We have to find, actually research and find good performing content. Um, and then we have to select a niche. So we don't want to make videos about literally anything, but we want to niche down. And we also want to be sure that the niche has a decent RPM. So we're actually going to be paid something if the channel blows up. And the second thing is, I would also say that it has to be interesting to first of all audience. So there has to be a market for it. And because you want to have some knowledge about the subject, pick a niche that it's interesting to you and you love to research. So after about five minutes, I would say, um, I was looking on YouTube and I found a niche that would be quite interesting to me. And I also think it's, it's a good niche um, because first of all, we want to find content that we can automate with AI and stories is one of those. Okay, yeah, exactly this. So these kind of videos are able to be automated with AI because they are just stories. And not only that we can just put voiceover over the AI generated images, but we can even innovate and make videos in this niche more interesting because the tool I'm going to show you First of all, you're going to create a storyboard, but then out of those images, you can even animate them. You can create videos. So let's pick philosophy stories. Okay, so step one is done. It was very quick, maybe like five minutes. So we found some good performing content pieces and we also decided on a niche and that's going to be philosophy stories. Okay, cool. Step one done. Now moving on to the step two is the channel setup. So we need to come up with a channel name and we also need to do a very quick branding, brainstorming session and then the designing part. So since we have to be really quick here, uh, I'm going to go to ChatGPT and I'm going to ask it to give me some channel name ideas and also generate a logo for me, a channel picture. So let's see if it's good at that. Okay, so let's see. Give me 10 YouTube channel name ideas for a storytelling philosophy channel. Okay, let's see what do I get. So 10 YouTube channel name ideas, story sage, philosophical fables, mindful narrative, tales of thought. Actually, I really like tales of thought. That's like a pretty branded name, I would say for a channel, like tales of thought. Sounds good, right? Okay, so let's go with this. And now I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create a channel picture for this name. So the prompt I'm going to use is now generate an image for this channel profile picture. Something like a philosopher thinking under a big tree with ancient Greek architecture behind him. And we also don't want it to be like very cluttered and a lot of things because ChatGPT tends to do that. And let's see what do we get. Okay, it's generating. I'm super excited. Let's see. Okay, so this is actually perfect. I didn't know it's actually going to generate such a good picture on its first take, but perfect. Let's take this one and the channel name is Tales of Thought. Okay, nice. So step two is finished. We have channel name, we have branding, and let's continue to the step three, which is content creation. Till now it's been going very well. We finished the first step and the second step in total of a bit 10 minutes. Here's where we have most of the work. So we have to decide on a video concept. We have to write a script. We have to create a storyboard, voiceover, animate the pictures and then export the whole video. But I have a little trick for you guys. We can do everything from here in one app. So I guess we can do everything from here in under 30 minutes. And for the step one and step two, which we already finished, we only use 10 minutes. Based on that, I think we're doing very well. And let's begin on video concept. After thinking about it for maybe like three minutes, I come up with a concept that, I don't know, let's see, maybe it works. An ancient philosopher having a podcast while sitting on like a stone or under a tree. So it has to be like cinematic. It has to be aesthetic background. And he just tells something that's very, that's very interesting and insightful. 
And for that, we can actually go to the Catalyst. And if you don't have an account yet, just click Get Started Now. But because I already have an account, I'll click Sign In. And the first page that opens up is this right here. And we actually can click on AI Script Assistant. And what I just explained to you guys, I'll put here in this little box. And it'll generate a whole script with different storyboard frames. And that gives me control to actually generate voiceover for each picture. And at the end, we'll actually create videos out of those story frames. So the prompt I'm going to use is a philosopher explaining an interesting Greek intricate tale about a great passage while sitting under an old tree. So now let's click on generate script and Catalyst will generate a whole script for us. Okay, amazing. We have the script and we still have about 40 minutes left. So that should be plenty. And Catalyst generated one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine frames and each will have a different image. I'm literally not going to change anything because I like it as it is. So let's click on next here. And right now we're going to choose between different styles and we're gonna have a few pre-generated ones, but if we want it, we could also take the one that ChatGPT generated, so the profile picture, and we could use that style. But I think from here, I'm, I'm considering animation style or the woodblock print. What do you think, guys? So since this is like a storytelling type of video, and somehow I see the connection between like a book, so a great ancient piece of content, and I think if we would select woodblock print, it would be a nice connection between having like an ancient passage story that a philosopher is explaining with the visuals of a woodblock print. So let's click next here. And now we're going to select the cast. Right here, uh, it gave me two characters and I'm not, I don't really think they look like ancient Greek philosophers. So let's try to change that here. And yes, perfect. We found a character that might be, that looks a bit more like an ancient philosopher. So let's click on save. And for here, for clothes, um, let's put a different prompt. I wrote here dressed like an ancient Greek philosopher in a white robe. And let's see what do we get. And the other character, which is like this young boy. So maybe let's pick this boy here. And clothes are actually perfect for this boy. So a simple tunic belted at the waist. Okay, perfect. And now we're also going to generate a storyboard. So first thing first, if you're doing short form videos, you could also click on 916 portrait mode, but because we're posting this on YouTube, we're gonna pick the landscape. And now let's click on create project. Okay, perfect. This was super fast. So we have different locations. We have ancient tree clearing, we have coastal village, open sea, great passage straight, and we have new land. And right here we can see these different pictures because this is like a storyboard here. And we have the philosopher under the tree. Um, we have different, maybe friends we could say, and we have this boy right here, which is in a different setting. Because we don't really have a lot of time and this generation took about a minute or two. And in total, we have about 35 minutes left. And we have to know we still have to generate the voiceover, we have to generate the actual videos, and then we have to export and put that on YouTube. So quickly going over it, I really like the prompts here and the images. I don't have anything to say here. And regarding the voiceovers, I'm going to take maybe like three to five minutes to play around with it and create something nice. Maybe it's been a minute, but I just stopped recording and I thought I was going to like change every voiceover here and like customize a bit, but I actually really like the voiceovers as they are um, and Catalyst did a really good job. So now when we have the storyboard, we have the voiceover, let's go to the next step. And this one is super exciting. So right here, we click on the video mode and we're gonna switch to this one here. And now it's already generating the videos for each frame. So it's not only going to be like a static image, but it's actually generating a video. So we're gonna have a better video than all of those on YouTube, which are just using static images because this one right here is going to be much more entertaining, right? So this process took like one, maybe two minutes max, but I would say less. Um, and now we have 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different videos. And each one is animated. And wow, I, I really like this one. Isn't it amazing? What? Cool. So now when we have this and we have the voiceover, regarding content creation, we actually did everything in maybe 15 to 20 minutes max. Um, so we got the video concept, we got the script from Catalyst, we got the storyboard, we got the voiceover, and now in about minutes or two minutes max, we even generated the nine videos. Now we could also go back and switch to the storyboard mode and we could create new frames if we want a longer video but because we were limited by time and we have about 30 minutes or even less i think i where do i check we have to be very quick let's click on export right now and right here we can click on video mode and that's it i'm super interested to see what's gonna happen now okay it's done generating and i'm going to watch it with you live so let's see what we got. In a coastal village, young Thale stares at the restless sea, ready to chase dreams, and a fierce storm tests his resolve. Yet Thale navigates with skill. At last, he glimpses the great passage, a narrow strait surround. That's amazing. Okay, perfect. Now, we don't have a lot of time. We still have to upload to YouTube. We have to craft a title. We have to create a thumbnail, and we have to optimize the description and the title for the video to get actual views, right? So let's go. Okay, so I'm back in YouTube and let's click on create, upload a video, and let's take the video we just downloaded. Here we go. Uh, and we have the video, it's uploading, and now let's give it a title. Tales of Thought, the passage of an old philosopher, and we still don't have a thumbnail. I'm going to take a frame out of this video, uh, and we can actually go back to the catalyst right here, and Let's go back to the storyboard mode and let's pick the most interesting one. So, hmm, I really like this one. So I'm definitely not picking this one. Yeah, let's go with this one. I really like it. So let's click on download. And now let's go to Photoshop and let's quickly add some text. Now, I really like this frame as it is, but because we have to make it a bit more clickable and interesting, Let's add a layer and let's add some text. I was thinking something like the great passage. Let's make this bigger here. All right, a bit bigger. All right, so here the contrast is not really good. So maybe let's put it in the corner like this. And we're also going to drop a bit of shadow yeah, exactly like this. All right, so this is nice, but maybe let's do everything capitalized. And maybe let's also lose the dot. So it's like this, the great passage. Centered, let's see, centered or like this. I think I prefer this one. What do you think? I think that's nice. All right, so let's quickly export this. All right, so I uploaded the video. I made a description with ChatGPT. I just copy pasted the script from Catalyst to ChatGPT and to create like a shorter version of that. And we uploaded it to YouTube. And here's also the thumbnail, which I really like. And we basically made it in, what, two minutes? Because we just took the frame from Catalyst and applied some text over it with Photoshop. So yeah, that's it. So the question is, how much time it took me to go from what the channel is even going to be about to uploading the video. And the answer is about 50 minutes. So whole thing under one hour, 50 minutes to be exact. Uh, you can try everything yourself. You can go to catalyst.ai and you can create these kind of videos yourself. That's about it for today. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if it was helpful and have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.